Our God is an actor. God is active. He is one who acts, one who creates. The essence of God is not just in thought, but in intellectual actions that create good, good in the environment, good in the world. The principles of God, according to Romans chapter 14, verse 17, are principles of righteousness, principles of peace, principles of joy. And so today I decree God will act on your behalf. The Lord will act against your enemies. He will act for you. The Bible says, if God is for us, no one can be against us. This day, God will act for you. He will favor you in all ramification. The principles of your life today shall be that of righteousness, that of peace, that of joy. Righteousness will be your environment and your identity. Peace will be in you and around you. Peace will be within you and without you. Joy will be within and without for you. Your life will be surrounded by the peace and joy of God. Human life is a process of transition and transformation. And that's why I decree that this day, you are transiting from poverty into riches. Transiting from sickness into good health. Transiting from emotional turmoil onto emotional stability. Today, you will witness transformation. You will witness conformity to Christ. The opportunity you have today you will use it to create good. You will use it to create precious commodities around you and for your family. You will be fully involved in participation for the benefit of humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. In your family, in your life, the kingdom of God is established. Yes, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8, if anyone does not provide for his family, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. You will not deny the faith. On no account will an unbeliever be better than you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It equally says in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, if someone does not know how to manage his house well, he says, how can he manage the house of God? Today, you will not mismanage your body because that is your number one house. Today, you will not mismanage your marriage. You will not mismanage your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree you not suffer satanic attacks. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, confusion will be far from you. Disorder will be far from you. Chaos will be far from you. I decree that you not be a victim of materialism. The Lord will find you fit to function for him. You will be fruitful in all that you do. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.